and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to discuss about jira with devops so from quite some time i was receiving a lot of requests uh, of students asking me to make a video on jira how does it work and what exactly it is okay so in this video i'm going to explain everything from scratch so that you can understand how exactly a devops engineer works with jira what is the purpose of it and uh, why do we need jira okay also like i will show you with proper real time hands on demo so you can understand real time scenarios how do we work with it okay yeah so team uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel we are very close to 15000 subscribers to receive such uh, amazing contents one more thing team so i have this telegram channel which is completely open anyone can send messages so if you are having any queries doubt issues or anything you can just put your uh, issue here me my team members or any other uh, group member will help you if they can okay so as of now we are having around 2000 something so yeah if uh, and this this uh, this uh, group is like very useful whatever issues you are having you can just put it here and people who are uh, free uh, or available they will help you with it okay yeah so coming to today's topic team what exactly is uh, jira and why do we have it okay so let's consider a scenario where we have the three devops engineers devops engineer 1 devops engineer 2 and devops engineer 3 okay devops engineer 1 is assigned on a task a feature one he is working on some feature and devops engineer 2 is working on creating a new pipeline 22 okay and devops engineer 3 is working on to resolve a issue by troubleshooting okay so let's say all these uh, three devops engineer they are working on some certain task if they are manager they want to know the progress like how can they know the progress okay they cannot go every time to each devops engineer asking you what is the progress because that is not feasible and it will it is like very much time taking right similarly uh, their t this uh, this devops engineer they have team members also so if they want to know the progress or status of the work that these engineers are working on how do they know that they, they also cannot go to them every time asking you okay what is the progress of the work okay so to avoid this situation we have jira okay jira is a basically a ticketing tool okay and jira is the ticketing tool which is used for mainly tracking the work progress for example uh, basically what i mean by tracking the work progress is to know which person which employee of your uh, team is working on what task and how much of that task is completed because as i told not every time you can go to every team member asking uh, how much you have completed and what you are working on right so to avoid that situation we have jira through which you can just go inside and see who is working on what task and how much they have completed okay and let me show you through the real time example how does it work okay so what i have done i have just created a temporary jira okay uh, similar structure you will see in, a, in any company okay and this is known as a board a jira board you can call okay as of now you can see here three sections to do in progress and done right so let's say uh, uh, from the diagram we can see uh, three devops engineer working on three different tasks feature one pipeline 22 and issue 21 right so what will happen a manager or someone will create tickets in jira so here let's say hmm, from here you can see this option create right so i will click on create here let's say i will provide the uh, name what i'm working on like, like what what task needs to be done so let's say feature one right for ta first task and here i can provide the information like what task needs to be done right some description about the task okay and i will create let's say i am the manager so i have created one task and here you can see uh, the ticket this is the ticket now okay this ticket created if i click on it we can see the status like uh, uh, description key what is the summary of the task what is the description and as of now here on right side you see three options reporter label and assignee okay reporter is the name of the person basically who is creating that task okay for example if i am working on some task my manager will create the task right so my manager's name will be here okay and assignee so assignee is the name refers to the one who is going to work on that task for example here i can provide some name as of now like since only i am existing on this board so i can assign it to myself okay but usually in team team there are multiple people so for example let's say some member is there whose name is xyz okay 
so uh, you can like assign provide the name here and that ticket will be assigned to that person okay similarly uh, second issue let us create quickly uh, second was uh, pipeline 21 right pipeline dash 20 sorry 22 again let's say some description like description about the pipeline to be created will be uh, like mentioned here in the description and ticket is created okay second ticket ticket created and ticket again same things uh, like uh, uh, summary description comments is empty as of now okay and assignee like for example let's say uh, i am a different member so let's say i assign this ticket to uh, a member okay right let's say third issue uh, third ticket we are creating summary of third ticket was to resolve an issue 21 okay so this will be the summary i will copy and there will be some description about the issue what needs to be fixed right okay now here you see three tickets we have created okay and each ticket contains the default information of like what is the task needs to be done detailed in, in description of the task and who is going to work on that task which you need to put here okay and who has raised the task also this and this basic information is written right so let's say once this 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 part is completed like let's say uh, so this task is assigned to some person the next step would be to move the tickets in in progress section which you can just do by drag drop okay and you can see now yeah same thing nothing changes just we know uh, for the manager of other team members it's clear that okay there are three tasks currently ongoing and that is why we are keeping them in in progress section okay that means these are the three tasks ongoing and someone is working on it okay so manager if they want to check the progress they can open the ticket and the purpose of the whoever is going to work on this ticket their task is to mention whatever they have done for example let's say ki, uh, i can write like if let's say i am working on this task okay so my responsibility is that i should be updating this ticket every day on daily basis so i will write i am working on it okay and uh, half of the task is completed anything you can put which actually which is understandable for the manager and other team members okay and i can click on save okay save simple same thing like the person who is going to work on this pipeline they can write key pipeline is uh, done about let's say 80 percent okay and they can save their updates so in this way teammates are updating their status also side by side without causing any conflict or and also side by side saving a lot of time okay and let's say okay, here uh, issue is resolved so i will just write issue is resolved okay and for teams knowledge i can write root cause root cause of the issue was i can write key like how did i resolve it so i can mention here key credentials were wrong anything you, you can write okay like basically relate to the uh, task that you did so let's say i found out like the issue was occurring because of some credentials so i can mention the details here in comments okay and i can save this okay right so let's say second task is completed because i said key okay task is completed because some issue was there i fixed it so my next my purpose would be to push this ticket in done section okay if i put it in done section that means you can see it is check mark that means this task is completed okay so my manager if the, she goes here and she sees okay this uh, aditya has completed the task the, ta the, the completed the task that's why ticket is in done status okay so she will know okay, okay aditya is free i can assign another task and she can create another task and give it to me right and this is the way things happen okay let's say like uh, uh, whoever was working on feature one they just completed it so they can write completed the feature one feature one task okay uh, status then let's say they will put some url okay, you can check the status here okay and they will update the comments and they will push the ticket to done section similarly for pipeline let's say i can just put key pipeline is completed And let's say url of pipeline i can put so that people can see what i have done url of pipeline equal to some url okay and save this and close and move this to done section right so this is done right 
now so in this way the working is tracked like manager will be able to instead of coming back to me every time she can just go into this uh, jira board and she can track the progress okay now this is one section of jira that you should know second section or second part of jira what exactly it is let me explain you okay quickly okay so it see three tasks were happening right but there is a limitation on time like till when this should be completed okay for example there is something in uh, uh, jira which is known as in jira as well as in project which is known as sprint okay so sprint is basically a time duration that we call okay uh, for example let me explain you properly so sprint is a time duration that happens for 2 to 3 weeks okay so whatever specific task like in the beginning of the script sprint we will decide ki, okay these are the list of tasks that we need to complete within coming 2 to 3 weeks okay and that that duration is known as qk sprint one for example like we are st we have started working in project so uh, let's say i will say qk uh, currently we are in sprint one okay that means ki currently let's say we are working in uh, let's say let's say i started in january okay the sprint one started in january so first sprint will go from first jan to let's say uh, mm, mm, uh, 21 jan okay so whatever task that i have let's say 10 task i have inside sprint one so that those 10 tasks should be completed within first january to 21st january okay that is sprint one okay then once this part is completed then what we will do we will move to sprint two next sprint will be created sprint is nothing but a specific duration that we can mention ki, okay let's say ki, i am working on these tasks in sprint one okay so if you are in sprint 2 and this task has been completed someone asked me ki, what is the status of pipeline 22 so i can say pipeline 22 was is completed and it was part of sprint 1 okay so that this will be here and here let's say no, no, second sprint will be 22 jan 2 uh, let's say uh, let's say 14 fab okay so this will be sprint two, something like this so it, it can happen like for two weeks or for three weeks depending on the project okay usually in my project the sprint sprint duration was uh, three weeks so see for example like let's say these tasks were created in sprint one okay and what will happen key okay i i can understand okay these these tasks are currently part of sprint one okay so once i need to make sure that i complete them within three weeks of time till sprint one is completed okay that is the sprint thing correct so yes these few things that you should know about jira and now i hope you understood what exactly is jira why do we have tickets and how we can work with tickets okay main things that in about ticket you need to know is very simple it will be having a summary a detailed description about the issue comments okay in comments you can mention the updates what has been done who is working on that and from here assignee you can understand who was working on the task so this makes it very easy for your manager to track the progress how much task is completed and who is working on that task okay so yeah team i hope this video was useful if it was then give it a like okay so have a nice day and thanks for watching